guys, welcome to Monday's strength workout. We're gonna go over today's equipment needed. We're gonna go over the exercises. We're gonna be starting a brand new block. So no more one and a half reps and we're on to something new. So going into our equipment needed, you guys are going to need a set of light dumbbells that I have here, right? You're gonna need one heavier dumbbell that I have here and this could be anything, right? Household items if you need it. You've got the dumbbells, awesome. If you guys have a foam roller, bring it with you. If you don't have a foam roller and you have slides or a physio ball, right, one of those yoga balls, I'll show you the modification when we get to the exercise, but that foam roller is gonna be our first option. And then you're also going to need a chair. I have a box here um, because all of my chairs are dining room chairs, but a dining room chair would work just fine. All right, so we're gonna start out with our ring of fire. We're gonna start out with our core, right? So we're going to have a seat in our chair. You're gonna hold onto the sides, leaning back. Extend the legs out as straight as you can. We're gonna lower them down and then lift up. Lower down and lift up, right? Making sure the tailbone stays tucked under and the legs stay nice and straight. And we're gonna work on that nice range of motion, try and get the heels to tap and try and squeeze the legs in towards the abdominal area. Going into our second exercise, we are going to be doing a mountain climber with a squeeze knee in. So we're going to be in a nice plank position, right? We're going to take one knee, we're going to come in, we're going to try to get to touch the elbow, and then come back. Come in, try to touch, and come back. And back. We're going to move from there right into a inchworm, and it's going to warm up our squat position as well. So we're going to be working that core. It's already a little fatigued from the planks, but we're going to keep it moving. So you're in that plank, you're going to move right into a walk back, bend your knees and try to walk your hands in as close to your feet as possible, and then walk back out, right? I'm going to come in, and then I'm going to walk out. Core stays tight, knees stay close to the ground, come back out. Once you guys have done that, lean into the heels to stand up, and then come back to your chair for round two, right? And that's gonna be our ring of fire, running through all three exercises two times. After that, we're gonna move into our strength section. So starting out, we're gonna do chair dips. Hands are going to be on our chair, fingertips are gonna be forward, feet are gonna inch out, bend the elbows to come back until the butt touches the ground, and then press back up. You don't have to do the full range of motion where the butt comes all the way to the ground, but I want you to challenge your shoulders and challenge your triceps with as much range of motion as you can. Know that if you bring your feet straighter, it's gonna put more weight in your arms, and if you bring your feet in, it's gonna put more weight in your feet. More weight in your arms, it's gonna work your triceps more, more weight in your feet, is gonna work them less. Right, so pick the nice happy medium of what you need so you can get through all the reps. After that, we're gonna take up our heavy dumbbell, hold it at the chest, you guys are gonna stand on one leg here, you're gonna squat down, and then we're gonna stand up. Our modified version here, if you're having trouble with balance, is heel down, sit down, and then stand up. And if that's challenging, take the weight away and try to do it without any weight. Sometimes body weight can be just enough for that. We're gonna do both of those legs, we're gonna run through those two exercises three times, and then we're gonna move into our second superset. So your first exercise in our second superset is going to be a three-point row. Pick up your heavy dumbbell again. One knee goes on your chair, the other goes on the end of the chair, and then your other foot comes back. I like a straight leg to come back here because I feel like I have this super wide face. Hold on to your dumbbell, stretch forward with the shoulder, and then row right to the hip. I want you to avoid rowing into the armpit because we want to scoop with the lats. Stretch and pull. After you've done that exercise on both sides, we're going to take out our foam roller. So we're going to do a version of a hamstring curl here, and I'll show you some modifications if you don't have that foam roller on hand. So if we have a foam roller, right, we're going to put it down on the floor. You're going to lean your shoulder blades onto it. Feet are going to come up onto the chair. You're going to extend the legs, and then you're going to curl in. A nice tight squeeze. We're going to extend and then curl in. The goal here is to keep the hips up as high as possible and really squeeze through those hamstrings. Right, so if we don't have the foam roller, totally fine. 
You want to grab your physio ball. That's going to be this guy right here. Right, and it's going to work the same way. You're going to lay on your back. Heels are going to be up on the physio ball this time. And instead of that foam roller rolling underneath your shoulder blades, the physio ball is going to roll underneath your heels. So you're going to extend and curl in. Just like if we had that foam roller. If you don't have a physio ball, you can do a slide hamstring curl where you take carpet slides that could be like furniture movers or the exercise slides and use them to move just like we did with the physio ball in that hamstring curl like motion. All right, last two exercises here. We're gonna get some shoulders and we're gonna get some arms in. So this is where your lighter set of dumbbells comes into play. We're gonna be doing an L raise. So we're gonna come up front raise and side raise at the same time, lift and lower, then you're gonna switch, lift and lower. That's gonna be one, because we hit the front and the side once, and then the front and the side once. So we're gonna come up and up. That side view is gonna be up and up. Right from there, we're gonna hinge at the hips, rolling with those dumbbells, and we're gonna move into a tricep kickback, pressing back and coming in. Making sure the elbows stay up nice and high above the rib cage so that we get to hit a different part of those triceps than say our dips did, than say push-ups would, or an overhead tricep extension. Right, there's three muscles in our tricep that's gonna hit one that only happens when you extend those elbows beyond the rib cage. Something light is totally fine. We're gonna focus on that squeeze. Those are gonna be all of our strength exercises, all of our core exercises. I hope to see you guys in the Zoom class. Have a great Sunday. Hope to see you there. Bye.